Hey girl, hey, it's Shayna, and today we are going to talk Riri Wu. Woo! First of all, before we even talk about Riri Wu, let me just say that I spent almost two hours trying to order Riri Wu and because it was the day that like her whole line with Matt came out. And, like, the website was so backed up that, like, it kept shutting down. Like, I had it in my cart. The thing would shut down and then or time out and be like, you have to start all over. Number one, you need to get your website together. If you know stuff like this is going to sell, why do you not have the capacity for everybody to buy stuff and get off the website in a timely manner? I'm just serious. Anywho, that was my rant. I'm done. So, this is my first ever MAC lipstick. And, of course, this was, it sold out when it first came out. And I was like, I have to get it because I need to see what the hype is. And I was in the market for MAC lip, for like a MAC lipstick anyways. I was already like kind of trying to look around to see if I wanted to spend $15 on lipstick. Now, that's, okay, rant number two. Ow. I don't like spending money on stuff that I can get, that I know I can get for less. I just spent the money for Riri Wu, and it's a really nice red. It actually smells really good. It smells like vanilla, but it has Riri engraved in the lipstick. Okay, fancy. So this is the whole point of this video. I wanted to see, was it really worth the money? Like... If I'm spending $15 on a tube of lipstick this big, it needs to be worth the money. And then, and, and then, and then, I also wanted to see if I had a lipstick that was quite similar because I have a lot of lipstick. I'm a lipstick hoarder. I've just swatched a bunch of lipsticks um, for, that I already have, and none of them, this is... The middle one is Ruby, this one is Ruby Woo. And the only one that I have that comes even remotely close, I would have to say, and this is really bright red. So I don't have anything that's close to Ruby Woo already at home. You know what? I didn't try my Kate, collect, Kate Moss collection. I just realized that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have, I love Rimmel London's Kate Moss collection, and I have several that were down in my purse, like they live in my purse, and I want to see if any of these come close. Okay, guys, so I have swatched throughout all of the lipsticks that I have, and if you want to see the lipsticks that I have, you can click right here for my lipstick haul link, and I will show you most of the lipsticks I have. So I have found a few dupes for those of you who do not want to go spend $15 on Riri Wu. I have found that within my the collection that I have, I have um, Rimmel London number 111 Kiss of Life. When I compare it to my Rimmel London Kate Moss 111 Kiss of Life um, and my Riri Wu, and when I swatch them, they're very similar. Can you tell which one is Riri Wu and which one is Rimmel? They're very, very similar. I also have Rimmel London's number 11. Now, in the tube, it does not look like the same color. They are nowhere close to being the same color in the tube. But when you actually swatch them all together this is this one is Riri Wu this is Rimmel London number 11 in the middle and this is 111 on the end. A Rimmel London 11 is a glossier finish than both of the both of uh, these. Um, 111 is I would definitely say it's much closer to Riri Wu. I would say if you don't want to spend your money on Riri Wu, you can definitely hit up your local drugstore or Target or Walmart. All right, guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything that you want to see, 
down below. And um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you later. Oh, it transfers. Oh.